Hello, a couple of days ago some person posted this post on uh, the KD subreddit which was very interesting. It was titled What is KD's weak side? And that's some very interest interesting question because I think there's always a lot to learn even from like the weak sides. I'm also interested in what do you do you think is our weak side and let me know but uh, I was also very interested in seeing the comments from this Freddy post and that's why I'm looking at all 61, I mean not all of them, but the most important ones uh, after a couple of days so everybody had the time to like post their opinions. So the first one, which is the biggest I guess, let's sort by top just to be sure that the most uh, upvoted one is on the top. Uh, which is this one. Theming community is too small, there are hundreds of themes but there is a lot of duplication and not many variety, which is a very fair point and there is some work going on to try to improve this situation and in theory in Plasma 6 eventually uh, we will have in theory a completely new theming system and hopefully that one will help uh, regrow the theming community a bit. Also, I tried with my videos, like how to do a plasma theme to help out a bit, but of course I can only do so much. But I'm really putting a lot of uh, hope into what's uh, to come. Of course, uh, all of the themes that are currently supported will, uh, I think, uh, continue to be supported, but they won't look like, um, they, uh, probably the new ones will look better, so my hope is really to see lots of people working on bringing completely new themes into KD Plasma, so I do have high hopes for Plasma 6 to fix this, so hopefully. Most of the themes look the same and are roughly speaking either one of rounded corners in coherent dark, rounded corners mechos clone, rounded corners rainbow for Okay, this is actually pretty funny, I, I like it. And uh, there are also themes that are not rounded corners like the Windows ones, I, I guess with uh, Windows 11 it's uh, that, but I mean Tons of bugs and a lack of coherent UI and UX. Useful settings, which, okay, the, the about uh, tons of bugs, I totally agree and I think that it's a side effect of having so many options. If you have like tons and tons of customizable things everywhere, and I'm not talking about the theme, the theme is not the issue. The issue here are like the very options in like uh, right click, uh, customize, and there's so much, uh, so many like moving parts it's so hard to fix all the bugs and of course people that are coming into KDE prefer to uh, implement new stuff rather than uh, just working on fixing, fixing bugs and I totally understand that. I also, as the very first things, try to bring something new to KDE but that means that people are bringing in new features and new bugs necessarily and there is uh, the people working on fixing the bugs are usually the more experienced develop developers. So it's a bit of an issue, that's for sure. The coherent UI, uh, well, we try to address that with the consistency goal. Um, I hope that uh, it improved, the situation improved. I do think that there were like good leap forwards. There's surely more work that can be done, but I do think that there the situation imp is improving. The bugs, hopefully, but there's no clear plan to fix that. Useful settings, sorry, which are barred deep within 10 context menus, which take 10 to 15 minutes to find. Uh, well, uh, funnily enough, uh, there is um, this new feature, which you maybe don't know about, but now you do, which is Control alt i It works for almost all um, KDE applications and it opens up this pop-up and you can just search for everything like a new folder, sorry, folders, uh, create new folder and it also shows you like what shortcut that is. So if you're worried about having to find like the settings in context menus, it's all here and you can search through it. So this helps and it's pretty new. So we are working on that. About settings specifically, well, 
I do already, he already said, I think that we do have too many settings, but I would personally take off some, but um, very controversial, very hard to decide which ones. What settings I can type some keywords into search boxes and it appears in just several seconds, which is true. Uh, we already we have tons of like possible search boxes. We have one in system settings for like all settings, but also KRunner helps there. And as as I've just showed you, within the application you have this Control Alt I thingy, which helps. Um, long comment: um, tons of bugs compared to which other de desktops. Uh, Blah, 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 blah. Also, if there is buggy, sure, but some is more than something else. Especially open source software, this is true. What matters is whether or not some of those bugs are showstoppers, which is fair, but I gotta say that if there are lots of small bugs, the end product won't feel polished. And if it doesn't feel polished, you won't uh, feel good using it. And that's usually an issue. So it's not just about showstoppers. So for KD Plasma has no show showstopping bugs. Um, kinda depends on your use case. I have seen bugs that were pretty big, but Hopefully not to most people. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Plasma is the only remaining Linux desktop that tries to make application written using, mul uh, written using multiple, sorry, toolkits uh, look consistent. consistent. That's fair. Uh, I don't know if it's the only one, but we surely try to. Blah, blah, blah. I don't understand the plasma settings debate. Plasma settings aren't as clean as the light de desktops. However, you can do way more with plasma settings, which is true. Uh, as one setting manager instead of three, this is false. We do like, okay, uh, we do have one setting manager, but there are lots of settings that user expect to be in settings that are not there. As an example, changing the wallpaper. It's not in system settings and people expect to be there, but it's not. But also like the system tray customization or I don't know, kickoff customization. We do have like lots of configuration windows and it's not very easy for newcomers to understand what is where. So I don't think that we just have one place for our settings is true. I, I think it's false. Blah, 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 blah. Plasma settings has a search function that actually works. Thank you. You can actually improve that. And I've done a video on that, which is what call, uh, was, was called, sorry, something like uh, your first patch to KDE, I think. And like many people, I like KDE and I don't spend time complaining about it. Uh, it's not complaining. It's uh, hopefully giving const constructive criticism. It's not perfect and that is surely true, but I just don't see that many bugs or glitches contrary to what so many po people like to complain about constantly. Okay, it's good that uh, this person doesn't see bugs. Also, you know um, that app that you don't like? Well, just don't, don't use it. It's KDE, not Mac. You can change what you want, which is true. Uh, I mean, a lot of criticism here I've seen uh, about like Kmail, and uh, I think that's what triggered um, this comment, this part of the comment. But uh, you know, if a KDE app is bad, it's rightful for the users to point that out. Um, I laugh every time they come out with a list of things they fixed and there's always the comment like, did they fix insert tiny obscure problem only one person on heart experiences? Okay, that's very annoying. I, I gotta say, I fully agree with this comment. It happens every time and it's so exhausting. Like you come out so excited saying, we did stuff. And people are like, yeah, nice. But did you do that? And no, we didn't, sorry. You're killing the, the fan, sorry. Wayland multi-monitor, true. I don't know anything about Wayland nor multi-monitor, so let me skip that. Bugs, bugs, bugs. All software has bugs. Okay, again, there's, there's software, there's uh, like the amount of bugs is what matters and also the nature of the bugs. So KDE, I think from using KDE and also using like other um, OSs and desktops uh, does have more bugs compared to other stuff. There's nothing particularly special about KDE. I just think this is wrong. There is. 
KDE is special, even if in bugs. So the special thing about KDE is that we allow so many moving parts. You can customize so much stuff that it's very natural that it has more bugs than other desktops. And in order to be more stable, I think that we do have to understand that uh, some of the, those options would have to die. Uh, of course, that doesn't mean that that doesn't apply for like all bugs. Some bugs can be just fixed. Some others, uh, well, if you do take some uh, of some options, it will be easier to control them. I do think that KDE is a bit a bit buggier than other desktops. KDE, KDE is about provi providing flexibility and features for the user. User, I gotta need a source on that. And with, okay, it sounds uh, more annoying that I want to, but the fact is that Kitty is providing more flexibility and features for the users compared to other desktops, but it's not like written anywhere exp explicitly that we do have to have options, otherwise we'll, that Kitty won't make any sense. Sure, it's simple by default, powerful when needed, but that doesn't mean that everything should be customizable uh, or anything like that. And if, because I often hear people saying like, when we take off an option because we realize it's not worth it, people say, this is not the KDE way, but there's not such thing as the KDE way. The KDE way is to make uh, the best software we can and that's it. So yeah. Um, I'm only appointing a weak side of KDE. Bugs is almost a common sense. Uh, yes, I don't see why you would attack this person. It's right. There are bugs in KDE. I fully agree with that. Of course, all software has bugs, but I never occurred, sorry, a crash on GNOME or XFCE. Fair, I haven't either. That depends on your hardware. Ah, okay. Yes, I guess, but this is neat uh, picking. Kitty Wallet, okay, Kitty Wallet. Let's talk about Kitty Wallet. I don't know much about Kitty Wallet, but as the first person here points out, I guess, uh, I set it up and never see it again. Uh, some distros don't seem to configure Kitty Wallet correctly. It's all about configuring it correctly and then you never even see it. If, if you do see it, it's probably because of your distribution. So uh, it's not really our fault, however, it kind of is. We could, I guess, handle it better, but it's not fully our fault, I think, here. Yeah. Hundreds of bugs in general. Okay, so bug is like a very big one. Yes, I know all software has bugs. Uh, good thing that you predicted the criticism. And Kitty devs write code in their spare time, which is true, and no matter. Currently, I have 679 bugs open. Okay, thank you a lot for that because uh, a lot of people complain about bugs but never actually step up and submit them. And that's an issue because it's not easy to know that things are broken if, broken if nobody tells you. And again, with so many moving parts, it's not like uh, developers can test out each possible configuration. So sometimes we just didn't even test a particular thing and the user's user sees the bug and they don't tell us, which is an issue. So thank you so much for that. None of them is annoying enough to prevent me using KDE software. There was a time where I had some bugs that really uh, make me, made me want to switch to another desktop. Luckily, they went away with time. But they are bugs anyway, so it's not a good experience to use a day uh, desktop, sorry, with so many bugs. It's right. I agree. The same thing with all Linux. Not enough good troubleshooting, guys, wizards, and the lack of that one software you need Windows for. Okay, so, um, um, not to, I mean, uh, the lack of the software is not like, um, not, it's not very much related to KDE. Maybe it is. Depends on the software, like. If say I don't have a good, I don't know, uh, ebook reader that is able to take notes on EPUB 3, EPUB 3 uh, it's okay, it's not really KDE's fault. Uh, we could make one, but it's not like we can provide everything. So, but uh, I, mm, this person is not like criticizing KDE with this sentence, but uh, not enough good troubleshootings. Guides and wizards, I don't, I don't know if I agree with, um, I don't know if I agree with that. 
I don't know. Could be. I never thought about guys and wizards. Uh, could be. Could be something. First, all of the options and possibilities available create untested states. That's what I was saying. That have bugs, not easy, blah, blah, blah. It all works if you use it the standard way, but if you move panels, add remove plasmoids, you start seeing glitches, plasma crashes, add other oddities. True, again, report the bugs and we can try our best. I'm doing like a rework of the panel. So if you customize those, hopefully the situation will improve. Uh, blah blah blah. If okay, this is important. If fra fragility, fragility, I don't know, is the price to pay for all this flexibility, it would be better to have less customizable but more robust desktop. I actually agree. I actually agree. I think there is too much. I'll make uh, one direct example that is going to annoy another developer. Nate, if you're watching, sorry about this. Uh, in behavior of the task manager, there is where is it? Where is it? Uh, okay, let me find this. Okay, this option here. Clicking active task minimizes the task. You can customize whether clicking on the active task does minimize the task or does nothing. Like in here, I can click on this and it does nothing. And if I do this, I can, it does minimize. So I can customize that. Now, that's so specific. Like when I first saw the merge request, I was like, what? But I, I do understand the logic behind it, which is that uh, I, is, if I understood this correctly, there is this behavior on Macintosh or something, but uh, it's so specific. But I mean, it's not that, uh, it's not a lot of code. It's just one option. So I understand it, but if you take this and multiply hundreds of times, it could be an issue. But it's, I never spoke against this particular option. It's just one example of an option that seems just so specific that I wouldn't personally like include it in KD Plasma, but I'm, I'm not the KD's god, so. Blah, 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 blah. Second, questionable UI defaults. Okay, this is interesting. Changing the defaults is so, easy to implement and so hard to convince other people to do that. So sometimes uh, put elements in the UI like they don't know what to place. Okay, uh, please make an example. They should ask themselves, what can I remove from the title bar, toolbar, menus? Oh, we're doing that. Um, another example, the context menu here. We are removing stuff. Open with Dolphin on right clicking the desktop is weird. I think that got taken off. Uh, add widgets and other panel will be removed to only be shown when in edit mode, which totally makes sense. Activity switchers, do you use activities? If not, it should disappear because if you don't use them, there's not much sense in actually having this option here and so on. It's not like we're solving it, but uh, we're working on it at least. Um, what can I, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, uh, hey Dolphin, with your 432 more action. Yes, I took it. Okay, so I've heard this criticism so much and I don't actually agree with it. I think this is unfair, but it's our fault. The, that's something I agree. So let's, uh, what the hell happened? Sorry. Let's take Dolphin. So we are referring to this, let me zoom in, this. For 30 more actions, this. So what's the idea here? Now, uh, Dolphin has a lot of actions. Most of the actions are in the menu bar, this one. Now, some of these actions in the menu bar are highlighted because they're important to be in a toolbar. Some other options, slightly less important, are highlighted to be hello, to be in this bar. However, we cannot put so many options here and we cannot put so many options here because people would rightfully start to complain. So if we don't include the menu bar by default, which we don't, we gotta put uh, somewhere those actions. And in my mind, the best way to access those options is 
this one which I've, so I've shown you before. In your mind, rightfully, <laughs> you go search for them here and you see this weird for 30 more actions. Now, what this does, it actually just exposes, let me drink, it actually just exposes the menu bar as is. This is just the menu bar. So since you don't have the menu bar in Dolphin, we show you it in the context menu, which is a weird design choice, but um, personally, I never thought it was bad for uh, experienced users because it's pretty easy to say, okay, uh, well, it's this thing is usually in the menu bar, so, whoops, I didn't want to close it. This thing is usually like under view in the menu bar. So uh, it should be like in the secret menu bar. Let's call it a secret menu bar under view here. I think a lot of um, the, a lot of reasons people complain about this is uh, that we use the number. I think that if this was for more actions, people would complain less. They will still complain rightfully, but honestly, you come up with a better design. I don't know. You propose something. I, I wouldn't honestly know how to make this significantly better. Go ahead. Instead, it seemed the reason the opposite way. Mm, let's see, what can I add here? Mm, uh, it's not really true. It's more like, okay, we have we didn't make, but we have from legacy code thousands of options. And we, if we remove even just one, people will, will start complaining, which means that we have to maintain the options we have in most cases, and we need to organize them. And it's so hard to organize thousands of options everywhere. And it's not about what can I add here. It's about where the hell is this going to go? And again, if you have a better uh, like uh, suggestion, go ahead. Uh, keep in mind that, okay, this is not very useful. Let's not show this action. It's not well seen because uh, if there's another way to do this, uh, well, it's okay. But if there's none, then you would say, it. yeah, sure, it's not useful, but you bet uh, hundreds of people are relying on that features and feature and you don't know about that and they're going to complain that happened third it's community driven nature makes difficult to take decision oh that's so true if developers remove a feature sooner or later a user pop off the cave morning why the hell did you remove this feature? I can't, uh, th that's what I was saying. I can live without you screen my workflow. And uh, uh, very often it's uh, reintroduced as option. Okay. I'm trying personally, I'm trying to work against this because I see this happening and every time it happens, I think, okay, does this option actually make sense? And if it doesn't, and I try to be as uh, skeptic as possible, I just say, okay, I don't think this is worth it. And people are not happy about that, believe me. I think that soon I will start removing feature um, options because uh, they're very niche and I'll become the most hated person in KDE. Potentially with more bugs through. Fourth, this is personal, but I found it lacks taste. Standard colors and icons are too blue, too grayish, too cold. Okay, we try to, it seems something is moving on the VDG, VDG front. Okay, we, we try to like um, work on that. If you do have better color suggestions, uh, it's very easy to change colors. Uh, I've made a video, make your own color scheme and please come to us and say, I think that this particular shade of gray is better than this particular shade of gray. We are not going to complain about that. We're not going to go, no, don't change the colors. If it's a good color, then we'll keep it. Maybe it, we don't share the taste, so yeah. Um, Moving the panel to the top of the screen causes bug that shouldn't be there. Uh, like the top panel covering uh, the top of application dashboard. Ooh. We just randomly move around the screen. 
when the screen is rotated. Okay, I also agree, agree with complaint number two, blah, blah, blah. However, I totally disagree with your third complaint. Developers should listen to users and make decisions based on what users need. Okay, to be clear, nobody is saying that we should ignore users, of course, but we should stop thinking that the user is always right. They are not, very much. Uh, so if a user come to you and user user comes to you and say like I think that this option is a good idea, you need to say okay is it though, and if that makes the user angry, that happens. We need to accept that. We don't need yet another Linux uh, desktop that arbitrarily removes features. Says who that user rely on or is at a hostile towards users or oh, come on. This is food. As far as your fourth complaint, there is no third party themes for any Linux desktop uh, that's completely polished. Sure, but it's how much it's polished. Uh, it's not like, oh, but the others are, the other applications have bugs as well. That's not an answer. Um, there are no third party themes extensions for Android, Macintosh, iOS, or Chrome OS. Partly, partly true, I guess, or Windows uh, that are completely polished or tested to work with every application. Okay, I'm not sold on this one. Uh, the, all the options, okay, that's a big one. And I never, uh, uh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. With KDE's philosophy, sadly, again, um, philosophy that is not really written everywhere, I think. It's unspoken and I think we can change that. They want to make uh, um, as many people as happy as possible and that means that the developers can't account for all combinations, meaning that they can only know through complaints and bug reports, which is true. Please make uh, both, possibly bug reports, that's better. And also, we can improve the situation nonetheless. We can make theming and options uh, less heavy on the reliability of the software. That's not an easy task to do though. I can leave the cost of such custom, okay. The trade-off is a tricky one to accomplish, oh, don't tell us. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is, it is. Rest of your comments, I can somewhat agree, blah, blah, blah. Hi DPI, again, I know nothing about this. No plan for how to organize menus for apps using the hamburger menu in the toolbar. Oh, this again. What do you mean with no plan for how to organize? Exposing the entire menu and 32 more actions isn't a usable way of presenting those actions on demand at all. It's bad. And more apps are being encouraged to use this thing by default. Okay, propose something, please. I have no idea. Like with the command bar, which is the control alt I think I showed you, with the fact that uh, those f more 32 actions are actually pretty uh, nicely organized into sections. I don't know what else. Note that this uh, is different from hamburger menu, blah, 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 blah. I appreciate that you have hamburger menu. Oh, that at least. <laughs> it's, us it's uh, usually criticized. Uh, I think it can be useful if done well. KDE's implementation of it is not done well. How can it be improved? Please provide um, suggestions. Um, bug glitches, inconsistencies, unintuitive, poorly designed UI. I mean, oh, <laughs> lots of stuff. Documentation that is very often outdated or incomprehensible, this is so true. And the greatest sin of all, config files scattered all over config and including useless or private info about window sizes or names of the, the what? Sorry, what? Useless or private info about window sizes or names of the recently opened files, useless I, I, I don't understand what's the point here. Are you saying that we shouldn't store this file or are you saying that this file shouldn't be stored scattered in config? Because we do need to store those files. You can opt out, I think. But if you right click Kate, 
you see recent files and that's a useful feature and we can just like get rid of it. It makes sense. You can forgot recent, um, forget recent files, but it's not like we can ignore that. Uh, as far as the config files are scattered, um, I don't know about how that works, so I'll leave it to other people. Integration with Firefox, oh, but it's so good. Um, you end up somewhere between JTK file dialogs. Uh, I do. Ac I actually have the KD one. Uh, it is a plugin that's somewhere installed. Lack of video acceleration. I know nothing about this. Um, yeah, I don't think that I can provide any useful feedback about this one. KD could do with rounded bottom window corners. Okay, let's talk about this one. Okay, rounded bottom window corners would be like, would make everything in uh, almost everyone in the VDG happy. Like the VDG, the visual design group is so much asking for this. I did like a poll, which is very unofficial, but I think that the consensus was pretty good. However, however, it's not up to us. It's up to the Kwin uh, developers and uh, what they're against it for many potentially good, I don't want to uh, say otherwise, um, reasons. Uh, the last of which is that it would impact performance and you can easily see that if the visual design group says, can we round bottom corners and the Kwin people go, uh, well, there is a good reason why this would impact performance. You can't just go, uh, just do it anyway. You can't. So for now, no. Maybe in the future, maybe for third party themes, I don't know. I would like to see this. Kmail wasn't that great. Okay, I think this refers to the original comment. Default settings are pretty bad. Please tell me which ones. So many people say this, but which ones? Which ones do you have in mind in particular? Please tell me because it's so easy to say, ah, the defaults are bad. Yeah, but which? How can I improve it if I don't? There are so many defaults. <laughs> okay, the best thing about KD, okay, um, the worst, the worst. The weak side is uh, figuring out all that can be customized and how to do it. Yeah. Um, I'm the sort of person who will spend hours and days customizing the setup. I can totally relate. Improvements, uh, blah, blah, blah. I think this is uh, an interesting comment, but this video is half an hour long already. So hundreds of bugs, uh, we've talked about that. Kmail is bad. Um, let's switch over. Kmail. I can't disable QRunner from popping up on desktop when I type something. Uh, weird. <laughs> X11, I don't know anything, blah, blah, blah. This is the very last comments. I'm seeing if there's anything. Personally, I think the default layout leaves something desired. Okay, interesting, but what? It doesn't really showcase how great it can look. Okay, but what do you mean with that? Can you show us an example of a great uh, default layout, please? Because to change the default layout is something that was discussed, but it's not like we found a better option. Not super important as a blah, 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 first impression, okay. I'm generally impressed with KDE, thank you. <laughs> I'm now taking compliments for the whole KDE. Like, I represent only, I don't, I don't at all. But I, I'm happy to see that people are impressed with something that I care about. It's not like I change the vast majority of the code at all. I do change the small changes, but I kind of understand a small subset of KDE. But when people are impressed with KDE, I feel happy. Uh, little things that bother me. Mm, it seems like none of this is something that um, I can provide feedback on. Caligra, uh, yeah, not very um, developed. Google accounts integration is bad, yes, that's a pity. Funny, I think none is very last, thank you, but... Uh, <laughs> QT, okay, is QT an issue? Could be, but not really. Like, if QT, like, if uh, 
Qt as a project was like super open source and uh, inside, the, inside the KDE umbrella, we'd, I think, obviously be happier, but there are some pretty good, um, you know, pretty good uh, upsides to actually Qt being a company uh, that also does commercial stuff, as weird as it seems, and the fact that there is a contract between the KDE AV and Qt makes everything more stable than it seems. And um, right now the situation seems to be good. And some of Qt stuff, okay. There's a lot of uh, things to love in Qt. Like QMO, as an example, I love it. I don't think that there is uh, something in other uh, desktop toolkits which is as good as QMO is, as much as I like to bash it. But um, that was all. So this is now your turn to tell me what do you hate or, uh, I mean, what's the weak point of KDE? What do you hate of KDE? And can you try to frame this as a positive, constructive comment and not like an insult? All of the comments here were rather positive and constructive. Some forgot to specify some good, uh, actionable feedback, which happens. I disagreed with some of it. I hope I didn't like, uh, I wasn't too annoying, like too brainwashed by KD. And that was about it. I hope this was interesting. And I'm kind of slowing going to like Christmas vacation, so less videos, but see you soon nonetheless. Where is the stop button?